Proclamation from the Acts of the Apostles. From my leaders, Paul had the presbyters of the church at Ephesus summoned. When they came to him, he addressed them. You know how I lived among you the whole time from the day I first came to the providence of Asia. I served the Lord with all humility and with the tears and trials that came to me because of the plots of the Jews. And I did not at all shrink from telling you what was for your benefit or from teaching you in public or in your homes. I 
earnestly bore witness for both Jews and Greeks to repentance before God and to the faith in our Lord Jesus. But now, compelled by the Spirit, I am going to Jerusalem. What will happen to me there I do not know, except that in one city after another, the Holy Spirit has been warning me that imprisonment and hardships await me. Yes, I consider life of no importance to me, if only I may finish my course and the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus to bear witness to the gospel of God's grace. But now I know that none of you to whom I preached the kingdom during my travels will ever see my face again. And so I solemnly declare to you this day that I am not responsible for the blood of any of you, for I did not shrink from proclaiming to you the entire plan of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song, Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. A bountiful rain you shower down, O God, upon your inheritance. You restore the land when it languished. Your flock settled in it. In your goodness, O God, you provided it for the needy. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Let the day by day be the Lord, who bears our burdens. God, who is our salvation, God is saving, is a saving God for us. The Lord, my God, controls the passage of death. Sing Save to God, God O kingdoms of the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. mine, and I have been glorified in them. 
and now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world while I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Through the words of the Gospel, may our sins be forgiven. Good morning to you all. Good morning. If you look at the discussions of this morning, the first written Acts of the Apostles 20, and then you look at the words of Jesus today to his disciples, John 17, reminding them of his departure. Paul today telling those in Asia, I am leaving you. If you went through that reading, the first reading, if you went through it meditatively, you will win. And if you didn't feel some kind of sorrow in your heart, if you, then probably you didn't read it well. Paul was talking to the people with tears in his heart. It was his last discourse with them. And at the end of that reading, he said to them, I am washing my hands away from any blood of any of you. Why? Because I have taught you everything that has been taught by God. I have laid bare the way to salvation to each and every one of you. So, no one has risen to fall. No one has risen to depart. No one has risen to blame anyone for his mistakes or her mistakes. You have been strengthened by God, fortified with the gift of the Holy Spirit. You are to remain firm. But there was something prior to that that Paul said. You may not see my face again. I am going to Jerusalem. I do not know what awaits me there. But I tell you in all honesty, the Holy Spirit has shown me that from town to town, until I get to Jerusalem, persecution awaits me. Trials and tribulations await me. But I am going on. Because God has entrusted to me the light of salvation to the Gentiles and to everyone in the world. And I have to move on. One thing is certain. If the Holy Spirit has said from town to town, troubles, trials, persecutions, rejection, imprisonment, public disgrace, await me. That means I still have towns to get to. I still have missions to accomplish. But with you, Sir Paul said, I have finished my course and I am happy about what I did on earth. For God entrusted me this work and I brought it to you. How many of us as Christians can look at the work of our hands, what we have transmitted to others through oral, through oral transmission, what we have transmitted to others through our relationship with them, and praise the, the God who has entrusted the, the, the gospel to you. God has given each and every one of us something to accomplish. That through us, by the gift of our baptism, the Holy Spirit has been infused into us. That we may become witnesses of the light of Christ. That we may become God's witnesses of his resurrection. Of his death and resurrection. Of the salvation of mankind the hope of a better future. Do we do that? Do you do that as a Christian? Does your life play out that look, God lives in me and he has given me something to give you? Giving out is not all about money. Sometimes time is important. Sometimes listening is important. And that's why, you know, sometimes we do not know. We are very eager to talk. You know, when you do counseling, sometimes people come to you, sometimes people come to the office, and we talk. Just listen. Sometimes people want somebody to listen to them. And sometimes people, somebody just finishes talking to them. I just keep quiet. And they don't tell you, Father, thank you for listening to me. I think I'm healed. I feel better. God has entrusted us with something. How often do we have that patience? To do what? To listen to others. It may not be only money. God sometimes wants us to reach out to others. 
Paul never gave the people money. When he got to Akara, he never gave them money. When he, when he got to Thessalonica, he never gave them money. When he got to Rome, he never gave them money. When he got to the, the community at Ephesus, he never gave them money. But he gave them presents and he gave them the word of God. And that is what God wants us to give to each and anyone we meet each day. To humbly proclaim God. Sometimes in our lives, we deride ourselves. Oh well, abasement. I don't know anything. What can I give? You know that Christ died and resurrected. That is the only thing he wants you to give. Amen? Amen? That is what God wants you to give. Sometimes you may not have the words. You are shy. But God has blessed you with wealth and he wants you to help. Help. Well, I cannot preach, but I can give. Well, somebody is sick. I cannot give anything. The ministry of presence may be what that person needs. <laughs> Maybe someone needs somebody to talk to him or her. God has given you the disciples' tongue. That wherever you are, that once you appear, the life of people is rejuvenated. There is joy. That even as, as soon as you open your mouth, people start laughing. That is a gift from God. He wants you to use that. Remember what the Paul said, I am a tent maker. I never became a burden to anyone. When I came here, I joined the company of tent makers. That I am a tent for myself. But what I have brought to you is what I want you to understand and to go with. You know, it's so beautiful as Christians. When we stay and look back at the work of our hands, it brings us joy. If your life does not give you joy as a Christian, not the mistakes you have made, but the struggles you went through to get to where you are, and you see the grace of God around you, it should bring you joy. And then what you have accomplished through God's power. So Paul, in writing to Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter number 4, where you begin from verse number 7. In fact, it begins from verse number 6, so that you can feel the, the joy of St. Paul. He said, now I am finishing my life on earth. My life is coming to an end. But I am happy. Because I am gloriously and joyfully waiting for the crown of salvation. Because I ran the race. I have completed my course. I am waiting for that eternal crown from God. We are Christians. Are we running the race? That we gladly every day of our lives when we wake up say, Well, God, I am waiting for you to take me. I, I thank you for everything you have helped me to achieve. I have practiced my Christian faith without hindrance, without being shy, and with every courage. I thank you. And I am waiting for the gift of today. You are gift to be bestowed upon me. My brothers and sisters, remember the prayers of Christ. I pray for those who have entrusted to me, you seated here. Christ said that prayer for you, and he says it every day. He prays to the Father for each and every one of us, myself, yourselves. He says, for they have known that I am sent from you. We have known that Christ was sent by God. We have come to believe. And that is where our eternal life comes from. Let us walk every day with joy. Not with regret and remorse. But let us joyfully thank God every day that he has given us the grace to glorify him. So that everything we do will be to the glory of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We we'll rise and joyfully bring our prayers to our loving Father, asking that He may be with us. He may grant us the joy of knowing Him. Ever gracious God, you have seated our risen Lord at your right hand. May your rich blessings be distributed to your people in their need. 
for the church, the body of Christ, in this third millennium. May we never weary proclaiming the good news of God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of government, may they strive to free people from bondage by promoting peace and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who minister in the church, may they be zealous and fearless in serving people who are broken and without hope, especially those abused by the powerful of this world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all schools of learning, may they inspire vocations to the priesthood and religious life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For blessings upon all gathered here in prayer, may we be renewed in our Christ-given tasks. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all the faithfully departed, May they, may they might share their fullness of glory in the heavenly peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord our Father, in your mercy, humbly hear our prayers. Dispose our hearts every day to carry the good works you have entrusted to us. May nothing hinder your grace in us. Make us productive that we may give you glory. In your mercy, hear our prayers. Spoken and the words that lie deep down in our hearts. Grant us what we ask you in faith, for we have been chosen by you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which God has given our human hands have made. May become for us our bread of life. Bless be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. May it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and a contrite heart. May the Lord wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May God accept the sacrifice of your hands for the glory and glory of His name, for our faith and the Lord of the Church. Amen. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through this act of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your heart. Lift up the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamp of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, 
Make holy them for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Daniel our Archbishop, Cheryl's his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Saints, St. Paul, St. Timothy, St. Titus, St. Philip, St. Christopher, St. Anthony, St. Jude, St. Scholastica, St. Elizabeth, St. Veronica, St. Cecilia, St. Anne Bobre, St. Josephine Bakita, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be good heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Join our hearts. Let us call God Father in the words that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the joy and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. May we offer each other with joy the sign of Christ's peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Brothers and sisters, behold Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those of us called to this circle of the Lamb. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to eternal life.
the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send it by them, will teach you all things and remind you of all I have told you, says the Lord. Amen. Amen. I will say our covenant prayer. Come, O Holy Spirit, and fill the hearts of the faithful. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. Holy Spirit of Jesus, fire, water, come. Holy Spirit of Jesus, fire, water, come. Holy Spirit of Jesus, fire, water, come. Our Father, who art in heaven, I will be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Help Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we go in the peace and joy of Christ, for this Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful